Now, I'm, I'm very conscious that an, a large number of you are, are students, so you know this might not be as relevant. So again, we'll trim it down a little bit and go through it. But you have all, all the slides there as a resource. Um, by a show of hands, those who are doing, let's say, masters, just a master student, what is your big vision? Where are you going to go? Are you going to stay in academia? Or are you off to flip hamburger as soon as you finished your masters? Academia. Okay. Two, three, and some, some hands are doing this. So we're not 100% sure. No, I understand. I understand. PhD students, academia or hamburgers? Academia. Much more confident. Yes, I like that. Boom. Well done. Eh? Uh, postdocs. Well, if you're doing a postdoc and you're not going to go into academia, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, academic staff members. Hamburgers or academia? <laughs> hamburgers. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, some of this might not be relevant, but it might help you to decide. Those people who were doing this, it might help you to decide, uh, get a bit of a sense of what the academic career is all about. All right, so I'm a strong believer in planning. I think about planning a lot. Um, you, you recognize that? The Thinker by Rodden. I've actually seen that. It's beautiful. It's just so excellent. Um, and so to plan or not to plan, that could be the question. With apologies to William Shakespeare. So I also believe that what you do habitually is really important. So, so excellence and success is, as they say, not a once-off event. It's what you do over and over again. So remember when you started learning how to drive, it took every ounce of your concentration, every brain cell was focused on the clutch and the handbrake and the steering wheel and all of that. Now you drive to work, the radio's on, the cell phone's going, and you don't, you just arrive, you didn't even know the route, you, you've, it's so subconscious. That hard wiring of the brain is what you want to do for your excellence. And I think the way that that arrives is through planning. You plan it out really well and then you just execute that plan. You follow through that plan. So excellence therefore is not an achievement but a process. And a process that can be improved through planning. So that's Rob Drennan's philosophy of the world. The normal cartoon that I came up with. I plan strategically therefore I am. So yeah, I think it's important. But remember, an academic career, uh, and when I give this workshop, a lot of people think it's just about research. But an academic career is not just about research. Research is important, but teaching and service are also important. And you've got to get a balance between those. Okay? Very important. And your plan must take that into account. I also like this quote. Um, two people from UCT. Uh, research can erupt in a burst of enthusiasm. All right, but inspire, uh, inspiration and activity. But some research that occurs this way is pioneering cutting edge. But sustained research over the long haul, research that results in an ongoing output is uh, of high quality and has cumulative impact, requires careful planning. So this is the type of research that, that we are really, you know, so sometimes we all, we, you know, lucky enough to come across a real blockbuster and it's, Wow, and your whole career turns on that. But the majority of us, it's, it doesn't happen like that. It. it comes from constant, continual, hard work, uh, high quality research that produces the goods eventually. And so plan is important to, to deal with that. Also, remember, uh, to get a research grant or even a bursary, how early do you have to apply? How long does it take between your application submission and your grant coming through? I hope you'll realize it's pretty much close to a year. So if anybody comes to me now and says, how can I get funding for 2017? I'm desperate. My instinct is, well, you should have applied six months ago. Uh, I try not to say that because that's not very encouraging to the person. But this is what you have to do. You have to apply 
at least a year ahead. And therefore, you need to be known, what am I doing a year, year ahead? And what happens if that grant doesn't come through? Then what do I do? So the need for advanced planning is so, so important. You know, you can't just say, oh, you know, it's January 2017. Where am I going to get funding from? Okay, the best you can do is plan for 2018.